Are doodles good for people with allergies? When I say doodles, I'm speaking of dogs like golden doodles, anything that's basically been mixed with a poodle. Um, the thinking in the past has been that uh, dogs like poodles that don't shed are great for people with allergies. So the belief has been that it was actually the dog hair that causes the person to react. Now, if you think that through, it doesn't make a lot of sense because to have that allergic reaction would basically mean that with, a, say, a shedding breed like a Labrador Retriever, the hair would actually have to go up your nose or you'd have to get in your mouth or breathe it in or something like that. And um, anybody that's ever met somebody with severe allergies will know that the allergic reaction happens almost immediately when they walk into a room where there has been a dog. So what's going on there? The allergens related to canines come basically in the dog's saliva and they're secreted through the dog's skin. So with the secretion through the skin, the allergens are coming out in the form of a protein. That protein attaches to the dog's dander and then the dander being dead skin cells and eventually the dog sheds those dead skin cells and they're blown around through the air. It's a wazzy, it's a woozy, it's a fairy dust. Where the allergic person breathes those dead skin cells in and then their body re reacts to the protein. So it's the actual breathing that in and the in internals of the body making contact with that protein that's causing the uh, reaction. Now, for a lot of people, this idea of breathing in quantities of dust that are made up of uh, dead skin cells is probably a little bit gross. Are you okay? Mm, I'm fine. I just uh, threw up in my mouth a little bit. But that's the way the world works. Uh, you know, I didn't make that up. Um, so, um, anyways, the next uh, area that I mentioned where the allergic reaction comes f is from the saliva. <laughs> so, if you know somebody that's very allergic to dogs and the dog happens to lick them on the leg, they'll get an allergic reaction very similar to this photo. They get hives and bumps and their skin turns red and all of that. Now also consider that many dogs will often lick themselves. So now you have the hair being coated with allergens and the dog, you know, this protein, and now the dog jumps up on the couch or on the bed or whatever, and those allergens come off of the dog and stick to the, the furniture and everything else. So now the person's skin potentially might be making contact with that saliva, even if they didn't let the dog lick them. So I think you would agree that whether it's a golden doodle or a, say even a purebred poodle, that chances are you know, you're still going to have a problem with allergies. I did this video because I know how these dogs are marketed and I would hate for somebody to go out and get a dog thinking that the dog's going to be hypoallergenic and they're not going to have a problem only to have their heart broken and now potentially they have to return the dog or something like that. So I'm hoping it'll save somebody a lot of grief. Now, say you're still not convinced by what I've had to say. There was actually a study done where they compared hypoallergenic dogs to dogs where most people are known to produce allergies, and they basically didn't find any difference. Um, I'm going to put the, the link to the study um, in the comments section or the description section, and you can go and check it out. But um, yeah, thanks for sitting through this video. I highly appreciate it. I'm going to have some more um, videos in the future about doodles. And, uh, you know, my comments on them might surprise you. And I'm also going to have some videos about the breeding of canines and how 
much of the world has been very much misled. Anyways, thanks. Have a great day. See you in the next one.